Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the Double E Vibes and in this tutorial, I'm going to explain the input-output characteristic curves of the common base configuration of a simple NPN transistors or the BJDs. Fine, these uh, characteristic curves are important in the sense that when you are going to design a particular application, like if you are going to design a switch using a transistor or an amplifier with a transistor, then obviously if you have the clear-cut idea of its characteristic curves, then you will be able to decide where to operate that particular transistor or in which region it should be operated so that you can get your desired results fine so when we talk about the input characteristic curves then the we say that input characteristic curves are actually the plot between the input voltages and the input current for the different values of output voltages or you can say v out similarly when you uh, say or talk about the output characteristic curve, so these curves are the plot between the output voltages and output current for the different values of input current. Fine. So you can clearly see that the relation between them is when you are going to plot the input characteristics you will be plotting the input voltages and input current uh, for the different values of the output voltages while when you are going to plot the output characteristic curves that will be a graph between the output voltages and output current for the different values of the input current fine when we say that the transistor is in common base configuration then what does it mean it means that if you are having an NPN transistor okay so this is the emitter terminal here is the base terminal let me call it bay and here base and here is the collector terminal fine so what we do basically for the normal mode of operation of the transistor the emitter base junction is reverse biased sorry forward biased while the collector base junction is reverse biased fine this is one thing that you should always remember next these are the VEB voltages these are the VCB voltages and the base terminal is common in this configuration the significance of having a common point in a transistor circuit, circuit is that it gives us a single reference for both the input voltages to the transistor and the output voltages fine so in the common base configuration the emitter base voltage is regarded as the input voltage and the collector base voltage is regarded as the output voltages similarly here you will have the emitter current fine here you will see the base current while you will have the collector current over here and the equation ie is equal to ic plus ib is always satisfied fine so on the input side or for plotting the input characteristic curves what we need to have we need to have the input voltages which is v e b in this case and the input current is i e and i will plot a graph between these two parameters for the different values of the output voltages which is vcb in this case similarly this will count to my input characteristic curves fine similarly the output characteristics are basically the plot between the output voltages which is vcb and the output current which is the collector current in this case for the different values of input current which is emitter current fine so let's just start with the plot of input characteristic curves okay so the input characteristic curves plot will be something like that let me draw it simply here you will have the VEB voltages while on the y-axis you will have an independent quantity which is the emitter current fine now what we see since the base emitter junction is forward biased so it can be treated as a simple 
diode which is turned on and the voltage drop across it can be equal to 0.7 volts for the conduction mode fine let me repeat again since the emitter base junction is forward biased so that's why the emitter current will flow just like the current flows in a normal diode the only difference will be that its magnitude will be in milliamperes okay now when we will keep vcb is equal to almost 0 volt or in other words you can say that when the collector base junction is normally open then you will just have a plot of the voltage and current and it will be similar to the current flowing in a normal diode so here you can see you will have 0.7 volt approximately while vcb is equal to 0 volt and this is the normal flow of current through a diode okay now let me draw a circuitry fine in terms of the layers of the transistor so you will have n p and n so this is the base emitter junction fine and i will call these voltages v e b and this is the collector base junction which is actually reverse biased and i will call it v c b okay so here we have plenty of free electrons while hole ha uh, so VP region has the plenty of holes fine now what happens these electrons are actually pushed away because of the presence of this negative terminal and they are injected into the P region some of which are swept across the base and very few are swept over here since base is very narrow all other electrons are attracted towards the positive terminal of this vcb battery thus causing the collector current in the circuitry so more positive value of vcb will result in more attraction of the electrons from emitter to collector region thus increasing the current fine so when vcb has some positive value then what will happen we will see an abrupt change or conduction in the transistor and we will see that the ie suddenly increases similarly if you will keep increasing the value of vcb you will see that the more positive potential will attract the electrons from the emitter region into the collector region thus enhancing the emitter current and reducing the voltages or VEB required for the conduction so for a fixed value of VEB I have actually drawn a projection so which means that for a fixed value let's say it's equal to 0 0.5 volts so for a fixed value of VEB you can see that the emitter current is increasing fine so this is all about the input characteristic curves of the transistor in common base configuration fine and now let's plot the output characteristic curves of the transistor in the common base configuration which will be the plot between the vcb and ic collector current for the different values of the emitter current ie so initially when there is no emitter current obviously there will be no flow of the collector current fine or in other words when you have opened the emitter side so what do i mean i mean that so let's say this is my collector to base region while emitter is open in this case fine so when there is no emitter current the very small current or the leakage current will be flowing through this circuitry which is called the reverse current so only reverse current is flowing icvo 
okay next if you plot the curves continuously you will see that the graph will look like that let me draw more curves then I will explain them one by one so assuming that this is the emitter current fine which is the fixed emitter current while here you are going to have the different values of IC okay so if it is 5 milliampere it is 10 milliamperes and this is 15 milliamperes all right while if you plot or draw a perpendicular you will see you will have the negative values of VCB in this case then 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 all right so three types of the regions are defined on the output characteristic curves of the common base configuration and the first one is this saturation region okay in the saturation region the VCB is always negative fine and in that particular region you can see that IC starts increasing as VCB starts or becomes positive fine so for this particular region let me highlight it this region is known as the saturation region and in that particular region you can say that the IE is continuously uh, sorry IC is continuously changing fine while for the fixed value of IE so what does it mean since we know that alpha is equal to IC over IE so in this saturation region the alpha is actually variable it's not constant because here IE is fixed which is equal to 5 milliampere while IC is changing from 0 to approximately equal to 5 milliamperes fine so in this ray region saturation region alpha is varying okay in the saturation region we claim that the transistor is basically or the common base or collector base region is actually forward biased and emitter base junction is also forward biased okay and we do not operate the transistor in this particular region except while designing the switch using a transistor fine now this region this particular region below the curve is known as the cutoff region where the transistor is usually considered off why because there is no input current so and no output current so that's why we say that the transistor is actually in the cutoff state fine now the third region this is very important region let me highlight this one where the collector current curves levels off fine so when the collector current curve levels off which means the collector current is approximately equal to the emitter current then alpha is essentially or approximately equal to constant since it's the ratio of IC and IE and both are approximately equal so that's why we say that the this region is known as the linear or active region of the transistor and in this particular region we design the amplifiers using the transistor all right now the last point is left in the output characteristic curves that is known as the punch through phenomena let me write it down punch through phenomena and for explaining the punch through phenomena I will go to the previous figure where we actually had the transistor diagram in terms of the NPN region so we know that this region is known as the depletion region this region is also known as the depletion region when we increase the VCB voltages to the extent that these two depletion regions actually merge together and we can claim that emitter is actually shortened with the collector then the abrupt amount of the current will flow or the collector current flows something like that thus damaging the device fine so this particular phenomena 
which happens because of the avalanche breakdown in the transistor is known as the punch through phenomena but obviously we do not operate the transistor in that particular mode the only modes of operation for the transistor are the linear or active region where we design the amplifiers or the active sorry cutoff and the saturation regions where we design the switches using the transistors if you have some question drop the questions in the comment section thank you for watching